Shalom, precious one. Let the peace of the Lord Jesus rest on you. Prayers to uproot evil in our lives. Hear me, child of God, the Bible said we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. The Bible said the enemy does not sleep nor slumber unless he has made someone to fall. The devil goes around roaring like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. We are in battle in this world. Never forget as a believer that we are in battle in this world. There are times that we go through a whole lot of things, that believers try everything in the physical realm, but nothing seems to work. Do not forget to stand and do some spiritual warfare. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, for the weapons of our warfare are mighty true God to the pulling down of every stronghold in our life. The Lord has given us power to uproot evil and to bring down every tree that is barren in our lives. Whilst men slept, the Bible said the enemy sowed tares among the wheat that the people of God did sow. God destined you for greatness. God destined you to be that great woman, to be that great mother, to be that great businesswoman, to excel in every area of your life. But an enemy has done this. The non-achievement, the failure, the sickness that is in your body, the failures that you experience in your life, this is not of God. You have been trying any means to come out of that shame, that backwardness, that failures, that disaster. You have been doing everything possible to get rid of that addiction in your life and every, every effort does not work. Every effort that you make amounts to nothing. But the Lord said, tell my people that today, together as we agree, we shall pull down every stronghold of the enemy in our lives. Because Jesus lives, we can face tomorrow. Listen, a tree is recognized by the fruit it produces. What fruit do you see in your life? Do you see goodness? Are you happy with what you see in your life? If not, you and I must agree this day and say, Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, every tree that the enemy has planted in our lives, in our marriage, in the lives of our children, we command the Holy Ghost fire to uproot those trees right now in the name of Jesus. When a tree does not produce good fruit, the power of our prayers must remove and uproot that tree. Do not be silent, beloved. Do not sit still. Do not accept what you are going through. For the Bible said in the book of James, chapter number 1, verse 17, that every good and perfect gift is from above. If it is good, it is from God. If it is bad, if it is causing you pain, if it is causing you tears, this is not of God. Therefore, we must agree and say in the name of Jesus, every evil plantation that has affected this family from the days of my forefathers till now, let that evil tree die by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let that evil plantation uh, be consumed by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If what you see in your life is not making you happy, if what you see in your life is causing you tears, if what you see in your life brings sorrow to you, listen, let us pray about that marriage today. And I pray that that seed of, 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 of confusion, that seed of conflict that the enemy has sowed in your marriage be uprooted, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Whenever you experience constant failure, sickness, financial difficulties, no matter how hard you try, you still remain in the same mud of addiction, in the same mud of poverty, in the same mud of failure. But I want you to know that together we agree and we say, Oh God, in the name of Jesus, let that evil tree planted by the enemy, let that seed of witchcraft, that, let, let that demonic plantation 
catch fire right now in the name of Jesus. I set you free somebody from that infirmity right now. Young man, as you listen to me, daddy, as you listen to me, mommy, as you listening to me right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name, I declare your healing to hit you right now. Let your healing hit you right now. Let the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let the presence of the Holy Spirit locate you right now wherever you are. Yes, as you sit in that bedroom, as, as you lay down on your bed, be healed right now. Cancer out of that body. Every every diagnosis, uh, every fear that the enemy has brought upon you, I command that fear out in Jesus' name. That seed of fear, that diagnosis that is scaring you. The doctor said you are going to die very soon. Thank God for the doctors. But who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. In the name of Jesus, the miracle working God. Receive your healing miracle. Receive your financial breakthrough. Receive the breakthrough. May you be delivered from that addiction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for your children that every evil seed that the enemy has sown in the life of your children, in the life of my children, in the name of Jesus, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost, the power in the blood of Jesus, break that addiction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, there are times that you feel this laziness. You know what you are supposed to do, but there is a weight on you. There is a seed of laziness that the enemy has sown in your life. Listen, there are things occurring in your life that you would not attribute it to demonic attacks. But I could tell you and I can tell you with experience and in my work as a deliverance minister and as a prayer warrior that many things are caused by this demons. Many things are, are caused by these principalities. We are not going to be irresponsible. We know there are things we must do, but I can tell you with no doubt and with boldness that many things that we do not attribute to demonic attacks are actually demonic attacks. And we are not going to elevate the enemy above us, but we just need to be aware that as we do what we got to do in the physical realm, you got to remember and you got to know that never cease to pray because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But thank God for giving us the power that is above every other power. He said, therefore God has given us a name that is above every other name that in the name of the Lord Jesus, every knee shall bow. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that tree of backwardness, I command that tree to die right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Agree with me, beloved. Let that evil plantation die. Let that seed die. Let that seed die. In the name of Jesus, let evil disappear in your life. The Bible said that he has given us power to root out by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have power over the enemy many things have happened in our lives as a cause of demonic attacks as a cause of evil plantation as a cause of evil seeds that the enemy planted in our lives but we agree today and we uproot it once and for all we uproot it once and for all that seed our plantation that affected our fathers that affected our forefathers that seed of non-achievement that seed of failure is uprooted the bible said for the axe is laid to the root of the tree therefore in the tree that does not bear fruit that does not bear fruit is cut down and thrown into fire in the name of Jesus. I command total restoration as we uproot every satanic tree, that seed, that fiber, that disease in your body, that non-achievement, that failure, that burden, that yoke, that depression, the frustration, that suicidal thought. I command that seed out in the name of Jesus out in the name of Jesus. I command a fibroid in your body right now to be uprooted in Jesus' name. I command that disease in your blood, that cancer, 
out in the name of Jesus. I set you free, beloved. The name of Jesus is above every other name and he has given us power to tread upon scorpions and serpents and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We are set free by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, he that the son of man shall set free is indeed free. I set you free, beloved, from every bondage of the enemy, from depression, from depression, from failure. Be set free. I set your children free. I set you free from financial struggles and from that poverty in Jesus' name. The Bible said in his stripes we are healed. That evil seed is uprooted. Believe it, agree with me in Jesus' name. I command total restoration, child of God. And the Bible said in Job 42 10, and the Lord restored the fortunes of Job and gave him twice as much as he had before. Maybe you have lost a lot in your life. But the Lord said, whatever we lost in our lives, as he restored Job, God is restoring you. I see you receiving good health. I see closed doors being opened for you. I see those doors that you should have entered years ago that were shut against you by demonic powers, by demonic attacks. Those glorious doors, those doors, breakthrough doors are being opened. Double for all your shame. Beauty for the ashes in Jesus' mighty name. Receive double whatever the enemy stole from you. Every curse is turning into a blessing in the name of Jesus. Every tree that represents delay, failure, shame, backwardness, working for nothing in Jesus' name. That tree is cut off. That tree is uprooted. That tree is consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, disgrace our enemies. Oh God, grace us and our children. Oh God, prosper us and our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord enlarge your coast. Every plant that God has not placed in your life is uprooted. Whatsoever evil tree, strange ones, is being uprooted. I set your children free from the effect of evil seeds. The tree is dying from the root now. I command the Holy Ghost fire to consume it now. Every evil tree be consumed. Every shame, disappointment be destroyed. Let that evil seed be uprooted. Enough is enough. Shalom, child of God. Let the peace of God be upon you. Let the shalom of God rest upon you. God bless you. Keep this prayer on a repeat. And I believe that every seed that the enemy has sown has disappeared in Jesus' mighty name. It's been uprooted. Together we did this in the name of the name that has been given to us to conquer and to subdue. The name Jesus that is above every other name. God bless you. Kindly share and kindly subscribe and click on the notification button. God bless you. See you some other time.